final match that we're going to talk about for the Royal Rumble is the Royal Rumble, of course, because that's the main event of the night. We've got 30 men entering. One is going in as the champion. This is the first time they've ever done that. They're being billed as one versus all. Focal point clearly going to be on Roman Reigns, who is the number one entry. And this year, we're not going to do the standard Royal Rumble predictions contest where we break down the 1 to 30 and all the other stuff because there's a lot of factors coming in here. One of them, it's a huge pain in the ass. Two... We got the post shows that we've been doing lately. That's going to make it harder for me to be able to calculate as much as I used to be able to do in the past. So, you know, it's really, would you rather wait? Would you rather uh, do a different review thing like that? I don't really think so. Another thing is just, we don't know a whole lot of people that are in it. So it's kind of like all randomized and all that. I will say, though, just to kind of toss out the idea for anybody who wants to throw any suggestions out there. I'm thinking 100%, at least one other person here. I mean, we all know Roman Reigns is number one. I think it's a guarantee Triple H is number 30. What do you guys think about that? I say he's number 30 or possibly number 31. They would do something like that. 31? <laughs> really? You think they'll yeah. just go, oh, I you think, know what? There's yeah. 31 this time. Like, yep. I yeah, think because they if, do everyone will be like, if, if you had Lesnar get eliminated that way, then Triple H is in no danger, so you can just pick it up, pick up the or, one that way. Or they could do something where Roman's like one of the last ones left, so there's like two left, and then you hear Vince's music, and then he announces that Triple H is coming down. They could easily do something like that as no, well. No, no. See, you have Brock come out, number 30. Roman Reigns and Brock Lesnar just punch the shit out of each other for almost 90 seconds with Roman just barely getting Brock Lesnar out. And as he throws Brock Lesnar out, he starts trying to celebrate, but all of a sudden the clock starts counting down 10 again, and then Triple H's music hits. I have Triple H coming in at 26 on mine, but I wouldn't be surprised if they did something where he comes out at 30. And if if, if uh, he comes out at number 31, that is the ultimate Triple H troll burial. Like, Triple H would. That's exactly why I think they would do it. Mm-hmm. <laughs> There's a new chapter for that video that they played for Daniel Bryan. They're going to go retro edit and throw that in. I mean, they have to make Roman Reigns look really, really strong. So instead of 30 guys, it's going to be 31 guys. Or instead of 29, it's going to be 30 as to go through. See how true it's funny. You you did your one to thirty. I did a, a preliminary one to thirty, and you have uh, Triple H coming out at twenty six. I had Brock Lesnar coming out at twenty five because mm-hmm. I thought that that would be the time where they would be like, "Oh crap!" Here, you know, right at the end, Brock Lesnar's coming here. He tosses some other people. You get the people like the Rybacks coming up a little bit later on and all that. I have Ryback coming at number thirty on mine. Number three, really? Thirty. Oh, 30. The, yeah. the, big, the big guy gets lucky this year, as they say. And actually, at number 25, I had kind of like B- Brock Lesnar, but uh, Bulgarian. I had Rusev. He's a potato. I have a lot of big guys at the later parts of the Rumble for some reason. And because usually they don't have jobbers coming in that 20 to 30 spot. They usually keep like mid card to like main eventers in that area of the court. They do throw jobbers in now and again, but. Yeah, but not very many. Yeah, I mean, um, I'm looking at the list of the past couple of Royal Rumbles. The last jobber that was 25 or onward is uh, Zack Ryder. He was number 25 in 2013. But they have had, like, um, Jinder Mahal around that time. They've had people like uh, Jack Swagger, who wasn't really doing that well around that time. Actually, Jack Swagger is pretty much always towards the end. That's an odd little statistic. He's... um, only he's been number where is this here, number seven in 2014. But from 2010 onward, he's been 22 and onward. That's gonna be a set that they're gonna throw into that like Royal Rumble statistics video. Jack Swagger <laughs> average intern is 21.7. Jack Swagger is a sacrificial lamb at almost every Royal Rumble. He also his average time in the Rumbles is 21.7 seconds. <laughs> I do think he's going to be another sacrificial lamb this year, and I think that's why he would come out around Brock Lesnar's time, because it's something that, like, Swagger can show up, wrestle for a minute and a half, get thrown out, nobody really cares, that kind of a thing. Uh, does anybody that. else think that there's, like, a specific booking that's going to happen, like, that they think Bray Wyatt's going to show up early like he did last year, or that maybe you're going to wait to see certain people or do you think it's going to be something where like Roman Reigns is there number one number two is a big name like a Sheamus 
I, I think would... Bray Wyatt definitely is going to have, play a big part in this year's Royal Rumble. I think he's going to clean house with all the Wyatt family and some babyface will come down and eliminate all his members and see, all the... they'll eliminate Rowan and Harper and then he gets backed up by Strowman entering next. See, the only reason I could see them having like this big, like, they eliminate everyone coming in the ring is if Reigns is not in the ring because he goes under the ring at some point and they just completely destroy him and like, I don't know if they do it exactly, but throw him into like the barricade and then they bury him and shit. Kind of like what they do every once in a while. If, what if they you... did to the Rock at uh, the one uh, Royal Rumble where Big Show just chokes him through a table. They could, yeah, something along those lines. So and That's the only way you could see him having that like big run. It's weird to think, but... I just don't really see it happening unless they do something along those lines or drains. As well, far as Bray Wyatt, I, I I think he will come in early, and I think he will do a lot of damage. I don't think he'll get the most eliminations or anything like that. He won't be the Iron Man, but I think he will be in it for quite a long time, and he is going to clean house with the rest of the members of the Wyatt family. What I would love to see is the Wyatt family eliminated by the social outcasts. Just one <laughs> group against the other, and so that leads to a feud against those two. I, I would love to see that. <laughs> Uh, when it comes to someone who's entering at number two, I, I didn't really pick a big name, but definitely someone who's not like Roman Reigns at all, but someone who would be entertaining the CB in the Rumble for long periods of times, and someone that could definitely do that acrobatic spot where, man, how did they not get eliminated? I, I, I have Neville in early, early at number two. I think he's going to be somewhere in that one through ten range, and he could possibly be the one that's like, how did he not get eliminated there? I do think Neville's going to do that this year. He's going to take the Kofi spot. Well, Kofi didn't even do that spot last year. If, oh, wait, no, no, the spot last year was the Adam Rose spot where he lands yeah. on top of the... Oh, yeah, that was fucking stupid. I remember that. But I mean, there's got to be a showdown this rumble between Lesnar and Bray Wyatt. You think? I, I think so. Yeah, after Raw? How can uh, it not be? I don't know. I think that they might be able to just brush that off. No, they're not going to do that. I wouldn't be surprised if Wyatt's dominating the rumble and Lesnar's music hits and everyone goes, oh, shit. I'll tell you one thing I wouldn't be surprised to see. Roman Reigns and Brock Lesnar teaming up to eliminate all four members of the Y family. Maybe. Kind of like Maybe. Roman Reigns eliminates Bray Wyatt, Brock Lesnar eliminates Braun Strowman, Roman Reigns tosses out Eric Rowan, Brock Lesnar tosses out Luke Harper, and then it's Reigns and Lesnar in the ring kind of a thing. I could see that happening. I'm curious about uh, the way that they're going to book Roman Reigns. There's a couple ways. Drew mentioned this earlier about the idea that maybe Roman Reigns could be taken out of the match and then come back in. Maybe he's, like, injured. Maybe he's just laying down on the outside or whatever. There's a lot of ways they could do this, and they've done some different things in the past. Do you guys think they're going to do the take him out thing? Do you think that they're going to start it off with, like, number two is, I don't know, uh, like, Bo Dallas... Roman Reigns eliminates him really quick. <laughs> Number three, Stardust, he eliminates him really quick. Number four is whatever, he eliminates him really quick. And then they go, oh man, he could end up eliminating all 29 one by one, that kind of a thing, until somebody stops him, like a Rusev you, or whatever. You know, they could do something like that, but it would not surprise, you know, since that 99 Rumble that we did that commentary for, it was really Steve Austin versus the, I don't know, the just Vince McMahon and his faction at the time. They could easily do something like that where they goo him into like going outside the ring, going backstage, and then. They just destroy him, and then the ambulance takes him off. I think that, too. I think they're going to have Roman Reigns just kind of off to the side for a little bit. You know, have him rest because his big moment's going to be at the end. You know, I think he will have a very strong showing in the beginning. And like you said, I could even see him just eliminating guys as they come out, and he's just standing in the ring like, okay, there's the next one. Now I'm going to stand here for, a, you know, a minute and wait for the next guy. So... I think, but after a while, the numbers are going to catch up to him. So he's going to get overpowered by heels. He's going to be thrown through the barricade or the timekeeper's area or a table or something. And they're going to be like, oh, he's out of it. He's definitely not retaining the title. And now let's, you know, pay attention to the other guys and forget about Roman Reigns until the very end when he's brought back in, you know, probably around the 24 spot or so. So if we get that heel that kind of breaks it up and it's like they put up a fight, who would you guys want to see that be? I mean, we got Sheamus, Del Rio, Lesnar, yeah. Bray Wyatt, Braun Strowman. We got a lot of different names here that could fill that role. Where we got the baby faces too. We could have Daniel Bryan pop up. We could have uh, Dean Ambrose. I, you know, at you the know? beginning of the week, I, I thought Daniel Bryan might have popped up. 
was, might have popped up at the Rumble, but there's been rumors saying that, that he's not going to get cleared to wrestle this week or some shit like that. So I'm not 100% sold on Brian. Ooh, I would love to see it. Love to see it. Don't know if it's going to happen anymore. And the, another question really is how if they're going to call anyone from NXT for the Rumble, you know, if they do anything like that. And when it comes to the heels, yeah, I, I think Bray Wyatt's going to play a big part, but I, I think two of his family is going to enter before him. I wouldn't be surprised if like Rowan and Harper enter. And then the number of games finally picks up with Bray entering, and then a couple of entries later, Strowman enters. How crazy would it be if Eric Rowan is going to the ring and Curtis Axel jumps him? <laughs> That'd be great. Or I'd like to see the reverse again. I'd like to see you know somebody else take out Curtis Axel <laughs> on his way to the ring. So that could be like his gimmick. Like every year now, I can't even make it to the ring because you guys attack me before I get there. And then no, he eventually now, wins now the I'm, Royal Rumble. <laughs> I'm, I'm in two Royal Rumbles concurrently because <laughs> I was never eliminated. You know, actually, even better, Rowan, uh, you know, Curtis Axel jumps him and then Rowan starts doing Rowan Mania and just do Axel Mania but with him. Did I lose you guys? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you lost us on that one. No, Rowania. Row in mania. Come on, Tony. Please. Fucking host you are. <laughs> so, Peyton, who do you want to see show up in this that's a surprise? Mm. Jake the Snake. He did put out that warning for Bray Wyatt. <laughs> mm. uh, Papa Shango. Yeah, I do agree that we've been talking about this for a little bit the past couple of days. I think it'd be great if Papa Shango shows up. Have a little stare down with Bray Wyatt. That'd be cool. Um, Way anyway, Barrett. Golga. <laughs> Golga. <laughs> uh, you know what would be really cool if we, like, could see Godfather? I feel like we don't see him enough. Maybe Goldust. Yeah. <laughs> Hacksaw. Maybe they can get Superfly in there. <laughs> One last time before he loses everything. He can't stand trial, but he could go to WrestleMania. <laughs> uh, what if they um, what if they made amends with Hulk Hogan? <laughs> I would pop. What the hell? Hulk Hogan's music plays like number I don't know eighteen, that kind of spot. Okay, if Hogan enters the Rumble, I'll mark out a little. And then, <laughs> a little. <laughs> and, then, and then after he's in, he it, goes, I'll be like, and then after he's in in the match, I'll be like, oh god, why? He just gets thrown over the top by Brock Lesnar. I'd be cool with that. Drag Ken Shamrock's decrepit old ass down there. Have an MMA match. So what other people do you guys think could end up showing up? Or at least you'd like to see show up? I threw AJ out the name Carlito. AJ Styles. Though, right? you. AJ Styles. You. Yeah, let's talk about the big guy. AJ Styles. He's this is going to be his time. AJ Styles. You. I don't think so. That's the big rumor going around, but I think it's it's too early. I don't. I would be very surprised if he's there. I know that's a big rumor going around, but I really do not expect to see AJ Styles in this Rumble. It's not too early if they want to have him in place for WrestleMania. I'm going to be depressed when he eventually uh, gets announced in it by an English announcer again. So like used to his New Japan one now. Sounds so, so much better. Sounds so much better. <laughs> it's going to be... Uh... It's gonna be weird when like AJ when AJ Styles doesn't get called and then everyone just starts booing because he's a new Daniel Bryan. Sure, should I am um, should we all agree to boycott this Royal Rumble if AJ Styles doesn't turn up and be those angry internet fans? Or or even better, <laughs> you boycott this year. Next year he enters at like nine and gets eliminated at fifteen randomly. Oh well, no, if they, if we're really internet fans. If he wins next year, we'll boo that. <laughs> what if they make AJ Styles like one of the guys who's eliminated in 10 seconds or something like that? It's like, here, you're new here. Know your place. What if they want to own his name and they call him AJ Bryan? <laughs> yeah, I was going to say, what if they have AJ Styles come out as Daniel Bryan? Like, that's why they wanted because he had his hair long and shaggy. <laughs> and then it's instead of the Bullet Club, it's the Bryan Club. <laughs> uh, terrible ideas. Don't steal any of them, please. WWE. <laughs> I threw out the name Carlito, though. I think that that'd be kind of cool to see him. Uh, I'd be interested in somebody like a Shelton Benjamin showing up. Because why not? I like Shelton Benjamin. There's not many people, I think, though, that are healthy enough to show up that aren't tied to some kind of wrestling company already. Ooh, ooh. Farouk Assad. 
in the blue. Yeah, <laughs> with the helmet. Yeah, I'd be up for that. What the hell? Why not? It has to be Farouk Assad, though. That's what you know. Yeah, no, not, not just damn Ron Simmons. What's I'm Billy Gunn? Farouk Assad. What's Billy Gunn doing these days? Coke. <laughs> uh, I think he's just doing powerlifting on the Indies. I could see Billy Gunn making an appearance. You know, after they fired him, yeah. Who knows? Mm -hmm. You can pick him up, but then when they fire him again, you can lose 100 points on your fictional <laughs> fantasy team. So what about NXT guys? Who do you guys think might end up showing up? I gotta say, out of everybody, Sami Zayn's got the best shot. I agree. Sammy yeah, Sami Zayn's definitely. Uh, I haven't looked at the NXT spoilers. If the match has already happened with that triple threat, number one contenders, I don't know who wins that, but... If he doesn't win that, definitely could see him coming up on the main roster and debuting at the, uh, you know, that Rumble that we're talking about. I think Sami Zayn, I also think Apollo Crews wouldn't be a bad one to introduce at this point. You want to know who else? And Sean's not here, so I have to say it. Baron, Baron fucking, fucking Corbin. Corbin. I'm surprised he wasn't here. I know he would have loved to just remind us how Baron Corbin's going to win. Hey, he's a name on my list, too. I don't think uh, Corbin's got any shot no. <laughs> getting in this Come match. On. You're being a negative Nancy all of a sudden. Why does Baron Corbin not have a shot? He's Sean's one to watch this year. Because he's Baron Corbin. <laughs> That's a terrible. Baron answer, Corbin's Tony. been, you know, he's been doing really good lately. He took a huge step up. He's not getting in the Rumble over Cruz, Balor. Oh, they're not going to call Cruz up. Are you kidding me? Why would they put Cruz in over Baron Corbin? Well, they Baron... don't have to call him up. That's the thing. That's why they could have somebody like a Finn Balor. Tony, it's Baron fucking Corbin. Come on. I'd be cool with it. Just not gonna happen. Apparently not. You know who else might have a shot? Finn Balor. Maybe he has Samoa Joe. Yeah, Samoa Joe could. I mean, uh, Peyton, I think it was you yeah. that was talking about having Joe and Styles do something. Mm. Yeah. Joe be fat and Styles have a bad tattoo. <laughs> now see now if Styles does show up short hair or long hair long hair long, long hair. hair don't think yeah. they're gonna make him like clean himself up a bit no eh. long hair don't care I think Styles yeah. is um, at the point in his age to where he doesn't give a fuck anymore anyway uh, hopefully he doesn't go through midlife crisis Jericho because that's like that's usually the rock bottom for it. <laughs> <laughs> that's the name of the syndrome now He hopefully he doesn't go through midlife crisis Jericho <laughs> It must wow! It really must have been Jericho. He's got midlife crisis, and he's got old man skin, and he, and he's also like doing all the shitty things that Stone Cold was doing. <laughs> and then also he is Stone Cold, and then also yeah, he's he got like Austin's tattoo. He got Austin's sloppy seconds. Yeah, he's got that shit tattoo on. You know who's worse? Chris Jericho's like arm tattoo or AJ Styles' like I don't know rib tattoo. AJ Styles' is rib tattoo. Yeah, but they're not even the worst. Yeah, Worse but... is Undertaker's neck tattoo. <laughs> yeah. That's well, it's Batista's tattoos. belly button tattoo. I don't know. No, no, come on, Tony. If you knew the meaning behind that tattoo, you would appreciate it a lot more. Brock Lesnar's cock on his chest ain't much better. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Someone actually made a knife out of that, so it's cool. Uh, Mike, you mentioned you mentioned the Undertaker. That's one name that I kind of wanted to float past you guys to see what you thought. Do you think there is a chance in hell that the Undertaker will be one of the entrants in the Royal Rumble? I hope so. This, this could be setting up something for him for WrestleMania. You know, you, you never know which uh, Mania will be the last one for the Undertaker. You know, and that Undertaker Sting match doesn't look as good as a possibility as it once could have been. I, I I don't really know. I don't have him in my like you know picks for who I believe will be in the Rumble. But if the Undertaker is, and the Undertaker wins the Rumble, I'm 100 percent positive yeah. he's retiring at Mania. It's it's a long shot. I don't think it's gonna happen. But if he was in the Rumble and he does win it, this is gonna be his last Mania. If he is gonna be in it, it's gonna be to set up a match, and I imagine it would probably be with Braun Strowman. Ew. Yeah, that's got to be the situation. Ew. And I don't you know, think he's gonna be in it at all. Actually, I hope not. Why are you guys I... being so fucking negative about this shit? It's disgusting. It's I almost feel as disgusting like, as Charlotte's face. I feel like they value him enough to the point where they'd actually give him Del Rio. Like, oh. like Del Rio enough. Oh. You I never actually... would have thought of that. That's a good idea. Yeah. Or, you know, if they don't end up doing Kevin Owens, Brock Lesnar, you know, you can always do Kevin Owens, Undertaker. Oh, man, I really hope they don't do Del Rio, Undertaker. <laughs> Tony, you're stop being such a negative fucking Nancy for crying out I'd out. rather Seamus Undertaker. <laughs> That'd be good, too. I'd rather see I, Undertaker 
Kane again for the billionth time. And I'd be really good with that. That's probably okay with Kane vs. Taker. I don't fucking watch that a million times. Is it Demon Taker? Is it Corporate Taker? Is it Concession Stands Taker? I think it's Crack Cocaine. <laughs> or is it... <laughs> or how about Taker vs. Toker? Tyler Breeze. It's, it's Crack Cocaine versus The Undertoker. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, the drug me to hell match. I just—I only just realized that we ended up coming up with two drug gimmicks for both the brothers. <laughs> <laughs> now, another name that they're going to say uh, that has been confirmed for WrestleMania is The Rock. Do you think there's a chance that he'll make an appearance? Not necessarily in the Rumble as an entrant, but... Drew already read his contract. He's not coming to wrestle. <laughs> no, I didn't. I Like I said, not necessarily. We already had our lawyer wrestle. look over this. <laughs> but, you know, like last year, he was there and he raised up Roman Reigns' arm as the winner. Yeah, we maybe, saw how well that worked. Maybe he could do something different this time, like maybe... Well, he lift his leg. Distract <laughs> yeah. him, or, or cost Roman Reigns, you know, an opportunity or something. I don't know. Uh, doing that almost made the crowd turn on The Rock. I don't think they would dare do that again. <laughs> well, yeah. I mean, the, the crowd is not... I mean, they are more behind Roman Reigns now. Oh, where's uh, Rumble at this Sunday? Is uh, it in Georgia? Atlanta? Atlanta? Columbus or no? Where is it? Let me see. No, no, Columbus it is, is Orlando. Orlando. Oh, Orlando. Orlando. Okay. Oh well. So how? That, that is a good spot like? for the Rock to be. Hmm. They're pretty. Oh. They're 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 pretty like by the book. Like what WWE wants them to be. Good. So, I mean, the Rock isn't wrestling at Mania. I mean, no, the guy, no. the guy from the Department of Headquarters even said it. So, well, I don't then, think he's got a shot. Yeah. I'm it's not. Weird. I'm not expecting the Rock at all. No, they they fucked that up last year. There's no way they're they're gonna have him back for to just to do the same thing again. No yeah. way. Unless unless he's somehow cleared to wrestle, he's not gonna appear in that match. No, I mean I I'm starting to think it's gonna be the Rock ringside for Roman Reigns at WrestleMania. That, that is disgusting. Yeah. And that'd it's be disgusting. a waste. Of... <laughs> it's disgusting. What's what's more disgusting, that or Charlotte? I don't know. <laughs> I mean, at least they're fucking Samoan, so they got that going for them. And they're actually... Oh, so Samoa Joe should be in it too, right? Why, why <laughs> do you say that with such disgust? They're fucking Samoan. They're fucking Samoan. No, 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 it's a good thing. Samoans tend to look decent. At least when they don't have a fucking bone through their nose, so. I think they got a shot, and they have pretty cool arm tattoos. Uh... Jesus Christ. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so let's start talking about our predictions here. As I mentioned before, we're not doing the 1 to 30, but we are going to keep the other things going. I just haven't figured out the point system yet, and I might just keep it the same. I don't know. Unfortunately, we have a lot of things that are the same here, so that's not going to be as uh, crazy as it's been in the past, but we're going to try to do the winner, the Iron Man, who gets the most amount of eliminations, who lasts the shortest amount of time, and the final four. I'm going Triple H winning. Roman Reigns being the Iron Man, because I do think he's going from number one all the way to the final elimination. And because of that, I think he's getting the most amount of eliminations as well. And the shortest time, I think they're going to give it to Curtis Axel. I think they're just going to play off of that again. Final four, Roman Reigns, Triple H, Brock Lesnar, and Sheamus. So... Uh, Kaylin, what about you? What are you doing here for the a lot of a lot of similar things there with the winner going with Triple H, Iron Man, Roman Reigns, most eliminations. I think this is the where you know I differ from the rest of you guys. Most eliminations is a position that in the last couple of years at least somebody that they're trying to build up to look really really strong, and Roman Reigns already looks strong. You have you know some other people who are already at that spot, so I think the person they're trying to build up is Braun Strowman. So I'm going to say that they're going to give the most eliminations to Braun Strowman this time just to make him even more impressive. Uh, for my shortest time, I'm going to go with Bo Dallas. I think he's going to come out, do his, you know, thumbs up, uh, cheer around the ring. He'll get in the ring, get thrown out in about 10 seconds, and then just, you know, still be positive. For my final four, I have Roman Reigns, Triple H, Brock Lesnar, and Bray Wyatt. So, so far, the only differences between their most eliminations, shortest time, and one person on the final four, Peyton, who do you got? 
My Iron Man, I am going with Roman Reigns because he's coming in number one. You have to imagine that he's going to be the major contender to try to retain his title. So I, I can't see anyone possibly being in there longer than him. Although, how cool would it be if he came out number one and like Brock Lesnar came out number two and eliminated Roman Reigns before number three came out? That'd be kind of cool. And that you're good. guaranteed you're getting a new champion right away. All of a sudden, this match becomes a hundred times more intriguing. How much better, though, if Curtis Axel was number two and he eliminated <laughs> Okay. Uh, most eliminations, I have Brock Lesnar. I'm, I'm going to tell you why I'm not doing Braun Strowman, and it's because he's going to be filling in with the Wyatt family who are going to be sharing a lot of eliminations. And I don't think Braun Strowman is going to be playing a part in every single one. So I don't expect him to get that many overall. If the Wyatt family counted as one conglomerate, sure, that would be most. But as far as a single entity, whenever Brock Lesnar comes in, which more than likely will be later in the match when the ring's kind of filled up, he's just going to be suplexing guys over the ropes. <laughs> I, it's going to be dangerous as fuck. Oh, I fear for the safety for whoever is being lined <laughs> up to be eliminated by him. And you know it's going to be some schmuck like like Bo Dallas or R-Truth or Dolph Ziggler. Darren Young. Like poor Dolph have... Ziggler. He's, he's going to get belly to belly over the freaking ropes and he's going to land like with his ribs on the, the, the guardrail on the outside. <laughs> <laughs> They're going to do that a... thing with Neville being like the Kofi where like two times in the match Neville like uh, does some kind of flip or whatever. And they're like, oh my God, he still is in it. And then he's just going to get thrown by Lesnar like a fucking lawn dart. <laughs> Wait, you tried to say something? Oh, I forgot already. <laughs> okay. Shortest time I'm going to give to Curtis Axel. Because I think he's just going to do a little better each time. And he couldn't make it last year. This year he's going to get in the ring. And he's going to be eliminated fast. And I'm saying super fast. Possibly they may even make it an attempt for the record. And I say attempt because that's a very vital word. Like yeah, last Titus. year's shitty attempt with Titus O'Neil. In Titus O'Neil's defense, it's getting very tight. Yeah. And you have to like rush and be on your shit. And you, you only get one shot to do that. So you essentially I, have to get in the ring and stop throwing yourself backwards. Uh, yeah, that that's how tight it is at this point. So, uh, especially a big Ovi guy like Titus, I'm not surprised that botched. But someone like Curtis Axel, who's a little more nimble, he may be able to pull that off. And I think that would be a fun addition to his little gimmick that he has. Uh, my final four would be Roman Reigns, Triple H, Brock Lesnar, and Sheamus. Seems like those are the four focal guys you would have going in the title picture for this. And the winner would be Triple H. Where you go? Tony, are we exactly the same with everything? We are the same for everything except for who gets the most amount of eliminations. What would you say? Roman Reigns. Oh. And you're Brock Lesnar. Okay, good. At least we're not all exactly. Yeah. <laughs> Where you go? You're up next. All right. So for the Iron Man, it is Roman Reigns. Most eliminations, Roman Reigns. Shortest time, Adam Rose. Final four, Reigns, Triple H, Wyatt Lesnar for the winner, Triple H. So you change your mind again, and you're going back with Roman Reigns as most eliminations. Yes, and it's just Jesus. the fact that I think they're <laughs> insisting on making him look strong because he uh, because he's going to lose, and he's going to be in there for like a hell of a long time. He's got to do something. I think I might have to dock you some points for changing your answer multiple times. <laughs> do you think? Care. Do you think he'll break his old record of docking uh, points? <laughs> yeah, from... <laughs> no, of, of eliminations. No, I'm gonna so. change it again once you get the uh, thing made up for the actual Jesus. video. Oh, uh, look at that! I just happened to change it to most eliminations was uh, Adam Rose. Okay. Drew, so... okay. <laughs> let's see. I'm not going to go with uh, Ruben Reigns for the most eliminations because, to be honest with you, he's probably going to be injured in sideline for a good portion of the match. So that's not Thank you for mind. being honest with us. You're, you're welcome. So uh, my winner... I think he's full of shit. My, I don't know. I haven't changed any of mine yet, so I'm doing a lot better than you. So my Iron Man <laughs> is going to be Roman Reigns because he's going to be sideline for a lot of the match. So you really can't eliminate a guy who's stretchered off and is going to reappear again. Most eliminations is going to be Brock Lesnar because it's fucking Brock Lesnar and I really don't need much, like, I don't need anything else to explain there. It's Brock Lesnar. He should get the most eliminations. My shortest time, I have Xavier Woods. And the interesting thing with that is I could see both New Day being in already. And then when Xavier Woods comes out, he's just like going around playing his like stupid, like his trumpet. No, not trumpet, his trombone, just playing it. And then once he finally gets in the ring, Jericho has enough. 
It throws him out right away. Good if Francesca be... died. Oh, uh, he might just get it repaired. You know, he might be trying to play it with like band aids on it. It Never. brings a new instrument. Oh, so the trumpet. There we go. Great Hopefully. if he borrows oh, oh, Kong. He should play the recorder. <laughs> Start oh, hot, hot cross buns. buns. <laughs> new hot. day sucks. <laughs> hot cross buns. Yeah. Hot cross buns. <laughs> And then for my final four, I'm going to have Roman Reigns, Dean Ambrose, Triple H, and Lesnar. And I have those four and Dean Ambrose specifically because I would not be surprised if Dean somehow eliminates Lesnar. Then Lesnar just gets shitty and eliminates Dean Ambrose because fuck it. Why not? My winner, it's going to be a clean sweep with Triple H. So last thing I want to ask everybody. We all assume that this is going to be a Triple H thing. And... I mean, we, we might be right, we might be wrong, I don't know, like that. Right, 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 right. We all have our things that we're anticipating, we all obviously want this to be a good match, we want it to build up to a good WrestleMania, all those other kind of things like that. What's the one thing that could happen here, realistically speaking, that would make you go, ah, shit, WrestleMania is gonna suck? Sheamus wins. <laughs> Jeff Jarrett wins. Realistically speaking. <laughs> Realistically speaking, if someone major like Roman Reigns or, I don't know, Brock Lesnar or Triple H gets injured and, like, they can't wrestle at Mania, that would be something bad that, you know, they could make it suck. If One they the try big... to get too clever where they have two guys at the end eliminate themselves and they both get eliminated at the same time and then they just hold the title up until WrestleMania, that would be stupid. I would hate that. Like Reigns and Lesnar? Mm -hmm. Oh, oh then, then they get to play. No, then they get to play. What you have to say of, that they can play tug of war with that belt for real and, now. And then everyone would bl would like blame them for copying TNA because they did that first. Oh, what? <laughs> God damn it, TNA! <laughs> I can say something that won't ruin uh, WrestleMania necessarily, but uh, they could have Daniel Bryan come out for five seconds to get eliminated really quickly. <laughs> it could get worse. They could have Matt Hardy win it in the end. <laughs> oh, be, and then vacate it the next night because he didn't actually win it. All right, so Matt Hardy ties with somebody in the Royal Rumble. They vacate the title. He fights that person at WrestleMania. That other guy wins the title at WrestleMania. Next night on Raw, Matt Hardy wins it back. <laughs> I, I will tell you, I will watch this if it ends with Matt Hardy being taken to Suplex City. <laughs> oh, man, I would love to watch his fat ass get fucking destroyed by this. <laughs> we all would. All right, well, I think that's it for our Royal Rumble predictions. Make sure you guys leave your comments below. Tell us what you think is going to happen for all these different things. Who's going to last the longest, shortest time, the eliminations, the winner, different things that you want to see happen, different things you don't want to see happen, entrances, the surprise people that could show up, NXT people, all sorts of things that we could try to predict here. Leave those comments below. And we have one more thing left to do for this episode, and that is the Fantasy League in Part 10. So we will see you there to wrap up the episode.